a world that provides food security, health and economic and environmental sustainability is a vision embraced on every continent. At a time when the world produces enough food for every human being on earth, 40,000 people still die each day in the tropics from causes made worse by malnutrition. Poverty remains rampant in the developing world, with half the world's population subsisting on less than $2 a day. In a daily struggle to survive, rural poor in the tropics have little choice but to pursue unsustainable, environmentally damaging agricultural practices. As we struggle to find ways to deal with these immense global problems, too often we focus on solutions that play environmental health and human need against each other. Any meaningful solution will need to address both sides of the equation. One solution that shows exceptional promise is agroforestry. Agroforestry is a complicated way of saying trees on farms. We're focusing on those small-scale farmers, those farmers who may only have one or two trees, or perhaps up to 200 trees. But those trees are there deliberately. They play an enormous role in people's lives. Working trees for working people on working land. The working land of the tropics is the agricultural landscape, and working trees are trees that do things for people. Here at the Two Wings Agroforestry Network in southern Uganda, we see the amazing impact of agroforestry on the lives of the rural poor. In the developing world, women perform most of the agricultural labor. Mary Kawera and other women in her village have taken the lead in this effort to distribute fast-growing, climate-specific seeds and seedlings from the Two Wings Nursery. Planting these trees provides benefits to farming families, creating additional sources of food, cash income, and scarce firewood. At the same time, the trees create critical environmental benefits by reducing erosion, enriching soils, and increasing biodiversity in the landscape. In short, agroforestry provides tremendous benefits, not only for farmers, but for their communities and for society at large. But this is just one of thousands of similar examples. While headquartered in Nairobi, Kenya, the World Agroforestry Center works on location throughout Africa, Latin America, and Asia. Also identifying what the really deep needs of the farmers in the different regions are, because what may apply to one region would probably not be applicable to another region. In the Peruvian Amazon, natural forest is being converted to cropland at an alarming rate. Slash and burn practices create a short-term solution for farmers. But after one or two years, the soil is depleted of nutrients. The center and its partners have conducted extensive field research to find ways to balance the needs of the indigenous farmers and the existing forest ecosystem. Farmers and researchers have found fast-growing, high-value tree species that can be effectively intermingled with cattle pasture as well as with other forms of agriculture. This creates a way to preserve soil fertility and biodiversity, reduces pressure to ecosystem, and creates new economic opportunities for rural farmers. Given the scope of the challenge, no single organization can solve these persistent global problems. This is why the World Agroforestry Center has developed literally hundreds of partnerships with non-governmental organizations and leading research institutions around the globe. Because as an international research uh, center, we have a responsibility um, mandate to push the envelope scientifically to come up with uh, new scientific developments. Creating solutions for rural poor in the tropics means tapping into a diverse array of disciplines and skills and creating knowledge and tools that can be put to practical use. By providing research and recommendations to local, regional and international policymakers, the potential impact of the center's work is greatly increased. When we really brought in the global environmental issues, so the climate change issues and especially some of the biodiversity and habitat issues, that helped to shift the balance. It, we were able to say this is about poverty reduction, but it's also about global environmental concerns that everybody has a stake in. To scale up to meet this global challenge, the Center has developed a series of strategic initiatives which rely on two cornerstone approaches. Research and related activities that produce improved agroforestry products, 
high quality seeds and seedlings, and the knowledge to use them effectively. Innovative partnerships that will enable dramatic expansion of the development and application of agroforestry solutions. In 1990, I began to cultivate this land and have seen that soil erosion caused by heavy rain is a problem because it doesn't only erode the soil but also my crops. Some time ago, I heard about a new technology called NBS or Natural Vegetative Strips. I adopted the technology in my field and I have observed that it requires less labor to establish and it's effective in controlling soil erosion. Working in collaboration with farmers, World Agroforestry Center scientists were able to identify and adapt a traditional technique, natural vegetative strips, to effectively control soil erosion. This helped increase food production while at the same time reduce the impact of farming on the environment. Agroforestry, the science and practice of integrating trees on small-scale farms throughout the developing world, is a sustainable solution to reducing rural poverty, creating food security, and improving the global environment. Together, with farmers and partners, we can transform lives and landscapes.